I'm glad you came back. I needed to get my parking validated. So your items were never recovered? No. Earlier you said that the items weren't that important. Yet now you seem very upset that they're gone. Well, I'm a walking paradox. What can I say? Sometimes we need to lose something before we can understand its value. I didn't lose anything. No. No, you were the victim of a crime. It's only natural that you would feel violated. And often our feelings of loss connect to how we feel about who we are. Oh, right, so we're back on that, are we? You want to talk about my identity? Yes, because you're the devil. You told me your names, but you left out a few others. Abaddon, Balliol, Prince of Darkness. Someone's been brushing up on their Sunday school. Yes, but before you fell, you were known as Samael. The Lightbringer. I don't go by that name anymore. That was a name that connotated your father's love for you. <laughs> right. Was casting his son into hell also an expression of his love? No, oh, God didn't cast you out of heaven because he was angry with you. How can you presume to know God's intentions? No, I don't. I can't. Then maybe stick within the limits of your intellectual capacity. Or maybe my simplicity offers me a different perspective. God cast you out because he needed you to do the most difficult of jobs. It was a gift. Gift? He shunned me. He vilified me. He made me a torturer. Can you even begin to fathom what it was like? Eons spent providing a place for dead mortals to punish themselves. I mean, why do they blame me for all their little failings, as if I'd spent my days sitting on their shoulder, forcing them to commit acts they'd otherwise find repulsive? Oh, the devil made me do it! I have never made any one of them do anything. Never! What happened to you is unfair. Unfair? This is unjust. For all eternity, my name will be invoked to represent all their depravity. That is the gift that my father gave me. It was an act of love. How do you know? Because you are his favorite son, Samaya. Do not call me that, please. You are his fallen angel. But here's the thing, when angels fall, they also rise. All you have to do is embrace all that you are. I can't. Yes. You can. You just have to be open to the process. You don't understand. I can't. But why? Because I stole them from me! I'm glad you changed your mind. Are you ready to talk about your brother? His name is... was... Uriel. And... ever since he died, I've been having this strange feeling, something I've never felt before. Guilt. Why do you feel guilty? Uriel didn't just die. I killed him. I've never killed anyone before, only punished those already dead, you know, back when I used to run hell. But a stubborn Uriel, he, he gave me no choice. He came down from the Silver City to collect on the deal that I'd made with Dad, intent on killing the detective or smiting Mum out of existence. Lucifer. He brought Azrael's blade with him, which is a, a divine dagger that destroys your soul. It doesn't just kill you. It Lucifer, wipes enough. You out. I can't do this anymore. I can't keep track of all these elaborate metaphors. But it's not a metaphor, Doctor. You need to take me seriously. You need to believe what I'm saying. Otherwise, you'll never understand. I'm a monster. A monster who deserves to be punished. I believe you feel that way. <sighs> and I want to understand. I truly do. But Lucifer, you have to help me. I need you to be honest with me. Completely honest about who you are. Completely honest. Are you sure? Yes. 
Yes, I'm sure. That's what all of these sessions, our entire relationship is all about. Getting to know the real Lucifer. <sighs> no more lies. No more metaphors. Very well. So sorry. Ever since you left my office, I've been struggling between my role as your therapist and my concern for you as a friend. Friendship won. But too late, it seems. Well, I really screwed up this time, Linda. Turns out I'm just as bad as our killer. Oh, God. You killed Pierce? <laughs> no. No. But I did try everything to get that lovesick former immortal out of the picture when really all I should have done was told the detective how I felt. How I really feel. Then why don't you? I can't. What are you so afraid of? <sighs> At first, it was your devil face. What now? You don't want Chloe to see that you have wings? I mean, who cares? I do. I care. Why? Because she doesn't have a choice, does she? Neither do I. It's all part of his master plan to toy with us, to make us dance for his bloody amusement. That's an excuse. Don't you see? You're doing the same thing as him now. By not telling Chloe the truth, you're taking her choice away. No. <laughs> no, it's different. You know, the truth is, no one really knows what your dad's responsible for. We're all just guessing, even you. But you know the one thing he can't control? What you do in this moment right now. So I ask you, the devil, what do you truly desire? I want her to choose me. Then tell her. This is all his fault. What is? Every bad thing that's ever happened. With Eve, with the detective. <sighs> Dear old dad's back up to his old tricks, manipulating me, using these two women to tear me apart. Do you really believe that? Well, with every fiber of my being, but I also know it's a lie, a grand deception I've been telling myself for... <sighs> since before I can remember. Why do you think you've been lying to yourself all this time? Because the truth is so much harder to face. What is the truth? My devil face. My devil wings, everything that's happening to me. It's my own bloody fault. I brought this upon myself. How's about that for starters? Don't you see? This is progress. Genuine progress. Unraveling these patterns of denial is the first step toward resolving these issues. No, Doctor, this isn't progress. Because if I'm doing this to myself, then, th then the real truth is... 
Is what? Is what? Come on, Lucifer. This will weigh on you unless you face it head on. The real truth is what? There is something rotten inside of me. I find it near impossible to drown out the constant cacophony of voices whispering in my ear, telling me I am evil. I'm drowning, Doctor. And I can't stop asking myself, why do I hate myself so much? We found the people who killed Daniel. We made them pay. Okay. And how did that make you feel? That's irrelevant. My feelings don't matter. Yes, they do. You're grieving. It's important to acknowledge that. <laughs> Such a stupid insight from the doctor once again. You know, you, you are very good at what you do. But your job should simply not exist. You don't think helping people cope with pain is important? I don't think pain should exist. I see. But that's life, Lucifer. Pain is inevitable. Suffering, that's optional. Do not cancel me on suffering and inevitability. There are no words to convince me that the system isn't broken. Trixie shouldn't have to suffer the pain of seeing her father ripped from her like that, and, and Daniel shouldn't be... Dan should not be dead. Your system is not only broken, it's unjust. Lucifer, you can't control all the bad things that happen in this world. Only how they affect you. That's where you're wrong. See, there is something I can do. Before, I wanted to be God for the wrong reasons, but now I no longer want to be God. I have to be God. Lucifer, what does that mean? It means that we are going to war. Doctor, you do know how much I value you, right? I make a pretty good therapist, don't I? <laughs> well, slightly better than good. <laughs> <laughs> but I meant as a person, Linda. I hope you know that you truly are one of the most wonderful friends that a devil could ever have. I do now, Lucifer. You're the devil. <laughs> Things were much less complicated when I thought you were just another average delusional patient with a complicated family. Well, I've never been average, Linda. Mentally, physically, and as you know, sexually. Oh, my God. I had sex with the devil. Many, many times, and you're welcome. Okay, now see, that I understand. Narcissistic tendencies rooted in a complex paternal relationship and a disrupted adolescence. See? Just another screwed-up patient, and you can treat me as such. <sighs> All right. Let's do this. The doctor is in. Lovely.